Hello, this is You Mind Me Craft, and today I am going to be showing off my block pusher map. Now, this is a puzzle map or made out of, or made using redstone, I should say, and I will be showing all the redstone fancy stuff at the end, but for now I'm going to be doing a playthrough of all the levels. Now, there are nine levels in total. Towards the end, they do get quite puzzle based, so if you don't want to learn the secrets of how to do some of the maps, uh, the levels, I should say, then I'll be giving a warning before I do them. Um, but in the moment, I'm going to be showing you the spawn room. So it's quite a small room. This can, my map can be played multiplayer, but it works just as well in single player. Um, so you just come here, it's got some basic information. It says don't spam the potions or use at the same time as other players. So, so this map is compatible for as many players as you wish. And below is a sign which gives out fire potions. And if you right click with that, It'll teleport you right back to spawn. So it's always handy, make sure you have one of them on the attack. So we we'll go over here, right click for level menu, and then right click on one of these levels then to start it. And start from the basics. Now this idea I first saw from a redstone on YouTube called Log Stonable. I do believe I'm saying that correct. Uh, basically he had a block which you could push. Now his block used um, ex piston, ex piston extensions on the side of the blocks, not buttons. And I did try using that, but that feature does not work on current versions of Minecraft. I'm currently running 1.8.1 pre-release 4, and it didn't work. I tried using um, trapdoors and stuff like that, but the best worked was um, buttons. So each map has a restart, like that. So if you max something up, you can restart it. Now I am going to quickly power through and get them all done. Like I said, there is nine, and uh, takes a little while. So that lever opened the door, which allows me to get out. Now I need the block because otherwise I won't be able to jump up on either side. I'm stuck down the bottom. Now before I could push them around freely, but now I am stuck to only moving on the stone brick. So this is a way of restricting what paths the blocks can go on. And there we go, that one's done. Now this is where it starts getting interesting. So it's the same layout where you have to walk around in a circle, but this time you have to, there's gaps you gotta try and jump over. So, now this has custom animation, same as the blocks actually moving. And the block jumps over the gap. And I can use it to get up and continue on my way. And this map is the first and only parkour map in the game. Now I've only put one in here so that it's not frustrating people because I know how frustrating parkours can be. So the aim is to get it all the way along here so I can stand on it and be high enough to jump, around this, to jump on the side. Now if you do die, you get taken back to spawn and I would highly recommend making sure you have a, a fire potion in your inventory still. I'm currently playing version 1.1 of the map. I've had a few friends test it and play around with it, but there still might be problems that I am unaware of, so I do apologize. But any changes I should be making, if they're minor, if there are any major changes, I may overlook them, as long as the map's still playable, which it seems to be from all the testing I've done. Okay, so this is where the trigger blocks get introduced. So the way each the way each level is normally laid out is normally has a small room like this explaining a new feature. Like that. And the next room will be more puzzle-based using that feature. 
that's the way the levels are normally laid out. Okay, so this is one of the more advanced areas. Now, if you don't want to know how to do it, uh, um, I would recommend skipping to the end if you want to watch the redstone, uh, or skipping a little bit further ahead if you want to see what the other um, levels look like. So each advanced puzzle area has a 3x3 three three grid with normally a jump block in the centre that's made up by 3x3 three three grid of them. Now, what I have to do is navigate my pushable block all the way through here, jump it over here, where I can stand on it and get me through to the next area. Now, I can't have it on here because these are in the way. I can't have it here either. So you could just go along and push it normally. But what I found is that it was getting a bit tedious to keep pushing it along all the time. So what I did, I created these splash potions which allow me to control it. Now this one, as you can see, move it right, this one left, this one up, and this one down. So this is where I said don't spam the potions because if the block is jumping in midair and you throw it, it will break the level and you'll have to change yourself to creative mode to destroy the block to fix it. So basically, I if I move it along, the cobbles and areas I cannot move on to. So now I'm stuck to go left. Same by here, stuck to go left. And if I went left again, I would land on the outskirts and I would have to make my way all the way back around to start again. What I'm going to do is move down, left, up. Now if I moved upwards, now I would land on this block. I'd be trapped and the only way I'd be able to go is over here and then I would have to start again. So what I'm about to do is move left, up and right. I'm forced to move right, can't move anywhere else. Same problem here as I was over there, I would have to go straight on this side. So I'm going to go up and then I can go all the way there, lovely. So now I can just simply jump over and continue to the next level. So now this is getting into quite interesting stuff. It's mixing two aspects. It's mixing the jumping blocks, it's mixing three aspects, sorry. Jumping blocks, the puzzle layout, and also an activation block, like that one. So to get, to the, so the first aim is to try and unlock this. Now, I cannot get on here without using this platform, so I need to unlock it somehow. The, to unlock it, I have to land my pushable block on the activation block over there. So, I'm going to come along here, and I'm going to need to find my way over to here. So let me just show you how to do that now. So let's get into the area first. Now I'm going to go here. Now even though I didn't make this map myself, I do sometimes get it wrong. But I think I'm okay at the moment. So here we go, I'm about to make the block jump over here and watch what happens to the um, blocked off area, blocked off tile. There we go, now that is unlocked. So if I just bring my push block all the way around, now I have the ability to get onto that tile. So now I have to figure out, figure out a way of getting myself onto that tile. Now before, I couldn't jump onto that at all. If I tried to jump onto that, it wouldn't let me, it just wouldn't let me jump onto the um, slime block in the first place. So this map does have protection against blocks in the way which would break it. So. It's quite simple to actually set up a map, set up a new level. 
once I've done all the redstone, you can come along, well, if you download the map, using the current redstone, you can just simply go in and build a map yourself with a few command blocks, very few, you can have a really detailed map set up. Now, maps like this is the most basic. You have one activation block, so there's a few command blocks under there. You have one command block saying that the block needs to be starting here, and a few command blocks resetting the door so it locks afterwards. Now, this implements a new type of block again. This one and this one, and these are elevator blocks. This type will elevate you upwards. This type will elevate you down. So let's just push the block. As you see, the block jumped up. I can't move it around on here since it's cobblestone. Let's move it on to the gold. That'll unlock the door. Now push it back down. It can jump back down and land on the bottom. I can use this to go through. Now here we are again with the more advanced type. So it's the same thing, but I have to get it around here. This is blocked off from being moved onto. Around here. Jump up. Jump back down and then I can go along. So that's the basics of how you do it. Now to make sure I do this right, I will be moving around when I'm doing it. Because I need to jump down to see what's behind on the other side. go now one of the harder things to do is remember which potion to throw in for which directions but if you do get it mixed up you can always go back to doing it manually now any of these blocks allow me to jump up let's just see from the top there we go so I can move on here freely now There we go, unlock the area. I'm going to jump back down. Move on. And it's just simple pushing it. Well, oh, lovely. Here we go. I have finished the map, then all of the nine levels. So we see when we first started off, it was just pushing the block around. Then it was restricted paths. Then we introduced the jumping blocks. Then it was a lava parkour. Then introduced the gold blocks, which are trigger blocks. Then we had the jumping grid, trigger grid, introducing the elevator blocks, and then the elevator grid. So that have all the nine levels. And if you want more, I may consider making a newer version of this. But like I said, it's really simple to make this all yourself. So if you don't want to watch the redstone, thank you so much for watching. The map download will be in the description. So please, please check that out. Because some advertisement links here, I will be more than happy if you showed around. The top one is for my YouTube channel, where I've uploaded this to currently. And the bottom one is for all my servers, which I own. They actually own a server hosting organization. So please do check them out. So if you like this, I did spend about a week or two on it. If you liked it, please um, thumbs the video up. That shows that you enjoyed watching and shows that you enjoyed what I created. And make sure you download it to play it because I made this map to play and have so that people, allow people to have fun on. So what I'm about to do show you all the redstone behind it. So I will be cutting that into a separate video so that people can see the behind the scenes. So if you want to go see that, link will be on screen or in the description, probably. Probably in the description, because I get lazy to put things on the screen. Um, so click the link in the description to go and see that. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share. And goodbye.